going on, people? Welcome to You Know The Score. Man United have beaten Leipzig at home 5-0. Marcus Rashford with a hat-trick, you know. Large up to him, feeding kids and banging in goals. My guy, my guy. Ems is here again. That's it. <laughs> Bro, obviously we was mad frustrated on the weekend. We, we disagreed on the last podcast. Oh, you could. Certain things, you know. Yep. We was going back and forth. Yep. Tonight yep. Was, a, was a five-star performance, especially in the second half. What did you make of the, what did you make of the performance this evening? I think I think everyone great performance. I can't I can't really complain. I felt like we just done the right things, you know. Five nil. Can't you can't argue the result. I don't think you can have any negatives in that in that game, in my opinion. You get me like, and this is what I said in the last game. We should play a diamond. We played a diamond, and what happened? We played, uh, you see the diamond. We don't have wingers, so we've got to play a diamond. Yeah, no, nah, it I made thought, sense. Thought, yeah. yeah, it made sense because obviously uh, we, kept, we kept the ball well, wasn't it? We kept the ball well. We didn't really give much away. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like you said, we don't have natural wingers, so the diamond made sense, man. Yeah, so for me, for me, yeah, I think this is the way forward. I know traditionally Man United have always had five players for years, but maybe times have changed and we have to make use of the diamond because we've got so many midfielders so we can play four midfielders in the diamond. Yeah, yeah, for real. And I thought, I thought um, Leipzig were going to cause us more problems than they did, but I guess obviously with the with the midfielders that we had on the park and obviously with Greenwood and and uh, Martial up front, you know, it, it worked a treat, bro. It actually worked such a treat. Like in the first half, you know, we got the we got the goal. It was excellent pass by by Pogba uh, into Greenwood and Greenwood. Yeah. I could keep saying left foot, right foot. It doesn't right matter. Right foot, it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's it doesn't. Like, but you know that finish, yeah. Mm. Like man, did it like fresh it. It was like a pass into the net. That is yeah. like that's a natural. That's natural finishing. Yeah, man, natural finish. Van Persie esque, man. Van Persie esque. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. We've got to nurture the world, man. We need, to, we, need to, we need to nurture this guy well. This guy can be a very, 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 very special player. Very I special. Obviously, there's been reports that, you know, he's had disciplinary problems, but he's a young kid. He'll learn, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he, he, as long as he keeps his head on the ground, he's going to be a fantastic player, man. He's going to be one to watch. Um yeah, I think man. he's been unfairly treated. I think he's been unfairly treated in my opinion. Of course. I just, of course I think, you got a fit, you got a fit, right? Mm. I know we're going off topic off topic a bit because we're talking about the game. But you got a fit, <laughs> him and Folden got caught out. But why is all the dirt coming from Greenwood and not him, not Folden? Like I know there must be some sort of dirt Phil Folden has done, but yeah, they want to target Mason Greenwood. I don't know why. Is it because of the colour of his skin? I don't know. Clickbait, clickbait. But yeah, that, that's a story for another day, isn't it? Like, back to the, the game in question. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, like, back to the game, back to the game. Man. Do you think, going forward, that we should employ the diamond in Europe? As, well, not just in Europe, but in the Premier League as well? Yeah, because I think we've got to play to our strengths. And our strengths <clears throat> are the set of midfielders we have. We don't have strength in depth out wide. Do you know what I'm saying? Our only wide player... Natural, well, I don't, I'm very questionable, but only wide player is Dan James. So, no, nah, listen, you can laugh, but hey, listen, you've seen, you see, you saw the other day in it, cold as in it, running into you know, cold as but yes. uh, yeah. So, for me, I just feel like we've got it's 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 not rocket science, you play to your strengths, and our strengths is the center of the park, yeah, yeah, and, and you know, we. You know a lot of Man United fans were crying out for Donny van der Beek, you know, to play. Yeah, uh, I thought, yeah, I thought yeah. it was it was it was a good run out for him. I mean, you know, he showed his intelligence. He worked hard. Like I, I saw the formation because although that he was playing at the top of the diamond, like he kind of like okay. yeah, he kind of like split uh, Martial and Rashford um, and Greenwood. Uh, oh, at Greenwood, times. yeah. Yeah, so I felt like he was working hard and he was working that that very well. Um, what did you make of his performance? 
Oh, I thought he had a, I thought he had a good game, man. He was clever, man. Nice touches. Oh. Uh, he was intelligent. He kept like lending the ball. Like it was, it was quite interesting. You could tell, man. Man's being proper coach the, the Ajax, the Ajax way. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> but the only thing for me, yeah, I think, yeah, if we can get a proper defensive mid, yeah, then I don't see why we can't have Fernandez, Pogba, and Van der Beek in the same team. But as of now, I don't think we've got a proper solid, solid defensive mid. Someone we can just rely on just to sit there and just let the them free. You know, do that thing in it, yeah. So, uh, I think at the top, yeah. I agree, yeah, because I think for now it will be obviously Fred, two out of three, yeah. Fred and either Matic or um Scott McTominay, if we're playing yeah, this yeah, yeah. position, and then obviously, yeah, two out of Van der Beek and and um Pop and Bruno. Um, but yeah, Fred, yeah. I thought he, he, he was good today. Um, he had 72 yeah, he touches. Hard. He was hard. He had 12 in the final for three it interceptions, was... three clearances, two tackles and two shots. So I thought, I thought it was very impressive today. I think, I think Fred just got brilliant attributes. Apart from he can't shoot, mm. man can do the be- man can do what centre midfield is meant to do. Tackle, drive, mm. decent, decent passer. Yeah. But I just can't shoot. But that's that's fine. If man wants to, if he wants to play the defensive mid row or the mm. left of the left of the, the diamond, mm. that's fine because he can do it. Or the right, he played the right of the diamond. I believe. Yeah, he played the right of the diamond today, didn't he? Yeah, so he, he did. Can do that. So yeah, Fred. Yeah, so Fred. Fred can do other than three, just not number ten. I mean, the top of the diamond. Yeah. So sure. he's he's a useful footballer. He's a useful footballer. He's mm. useful man. Yeah, and obviously again, yeah. two tough oppositions as well, Chelsea and, and Leipzig. We we haven't really given a lot away. So I mean defensively it looks yeah. as though you know we're, we're, we're getting better. Um yeah. I think obviously after that six one pummeling, you know, a, a lot of work yeah. for our defensive shape. Um which, yeah. which is good to see because like I said before, you know, teams were opening us up like the Red Sea. But um you know, providing we get that balance, that platform, then I think we've got a lot of creative yeah. players here that, gonna, that can cause trouble. And we saw that in the second half, where... Correct. But do you know what I like, I'd like to say, though? That mm. UEFA thing about five substitution, mm. that could help us go forward in the... Uh, if we get out of the group stages. 100%. I think that might help us. I, I think so. I think we've got the depth. We've got the depth. We've got the depth. And, that's, and we've got depth. So I feel Leipzig don't have the depth. That's why they probably tired towards the end, in my opinion. No, yeah, I'm not giving. I, I mean, I'm credit yeah. to my United. I'm not trying to be negative, but what I'm saying is, I think it's quite fair. No, I don't. I don't want people coming around thinking I'm making an excuse. Wait, if you're why Leipzig faded? But yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But like, don't get twisted. I give Oli credit. I'm just saying, mm. due to the five substitutions you can make, mm. that is going to be very helpful because we've got the we've got the depth. So obviously Lapsy don't have that, like I said, mm. and they may they, they tired. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it goes to show because we fully killed them off in the second half completely. They they did not know what to do. They did not know what to do. I mean, you know, <clears throat> we brought on Rashford and we brought on um Bruno. Um that added a bit more Bruno. dynamics. Obviously, Van der Beek, you know, he played I think 64 minutes and he was a bit tired. Um, Bruno yeah. was a yeah. life player, and that pass to Rashford, yeah. Oh. oh, that 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 was world class. That that was world class. I can't lie. That was not 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 many not many not many top midfielders would have seen that pass. Yeah, I didn't see it. I I, I didn't see it. Like I I, I, saw, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And then this is why as they, yeah. yeah. This is why Jamie Redknapp said you got to play with wing mirrors, mate. If you're playing in midfield, you got to play with wing mirrors. <laughs> No, that's what they're like, always says. He talks about Xavi and Iniesta. He always talks yeah. about the, the wing mirrors, and Bruno Fernandez has got that. Yeah, you do. Do you know what do I'm you, saying? Yeah, you need you need to see what's behind you, but at the same time, looking at the looking at the ball that you're receiving, you need to have that picture in your head already. Exactly. And he's got that picture. Exactly. You know what I'm saying like, mm. not a lot of players would have found. And then Rashford, yeah, he obviously he did the right thing because they tried to give offside. You yeah, know, play to the, the whistle. Right play to the whistle and, and any for any child any child watching this or watching the football game yeah 
make sure you play to the whistle on a Sunday. Yeah, play to the whistle. Correct. There's a reason for that. And Rashford did the right thing and he slotted it away. Slotted it Correct. But he's not talking about ruthless. Ruthless. This is what we need. Ruthless, bro. Ruthless, bro. <laughs> and I think now he shut people up off the pitch and out on the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, mm-hmm. bro. And then he, his second goal, you know, it was a uh, wait, who, who got the third goal? Was it Martial? Was it the penalty, isn't it? For the Martial for the pen. Yeah. Martial for the pen. I think it was. Yeah, because it was last half and ten. What did you make of that anyway? Yeah. Well, I'm sure it was. No, actually, no, it wasn't. It wasn't because the penalty would have been Rashford's hat trick. Hat trick, yeah. Yeah, it would have been Rashford's hat trick. Let me just get uh, on because we scored so many goals, yeah. We, I've even forgot the sequence of goals, you know what I'm saying? So let me just get up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm just getting it up right now. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it was the um, it was the combination between between um Martial and Rashford. I think Martial found him, and then he slotted it away. If you if you can remember. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember. Anyway, I mean. A big mention to, to Marcus Rashford anyway. Like obviously he didn't start the game. He's doing so much things on and off the pitch. Um, you know, yeah. he's he's on fire right now. He's scoring goals, he's feeding kids. You know, what more can't he do? Yeah. He's, my, he's my acting prime minister at this moment in time. You know. Correct. Yeah, man. I mean, do you expect him to to continue his form? He Marcus Rashford, Marcus Rashford is an interesting footballer. I think he always has that, that purple patch when he goes on a run. Mm. He goes on a run, isn't it? But he's, he's, it's mad. He's still young, but he's had so much seasons yeah. in, the, in, in my United Colours, isn't it? So, mm. for me, I think he, he probably carry on scoring. He probably... No, 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 no. Knowing Marcus, yeah. Well, I don't know him, but knowing what we see from Marcus Rashford now, um, I think he might score against um, Arsenal on Sunday. I think I'm pretty confident. He always scores in the big games. I hope so. I hope so. You know, Do you reckon? Yeah, man. I hope so because you know I I just beat them. I just want to beat them so badly. You know what I'm saying? I just really. <laughs> but um, yeah, what did you make of his decision not to take the penalty? I, it's an hard one, and this is what I'm saying. I I don't. He's not. He's, He's not a striker. He's not a wing. He's like in between. He's not roof. He's not Vanistre. Like if he's Vanistre, you think Vanistre is passing that to anybody? Yeah, Ronaldo. He's taking out football and he's putting a net regardless. Of... Ronaldo say look. Ronaldo say no. I'm I'm getting my hat trick. I I know. Yeah. I'm getting yeah. my. Yeah. No, no, forget that. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. For, forget that. Ronaldo would have, would have four goals. That man's still not giving that ball to no one. He's still gonna <laughs> take that penny. But I think no. But I just everyone. I think everyone's just different, and it? it depends, isn't it? Rush was just a team player, isn't it? So, so obviously, he just thought Marshall needs a goal, isn't it? So he gave it to Marshall. So people can call it one. People can call it um, being a team player, or people might have to call it as this guy needs to be a bit more greedy. But wow. he's a team player, isn't it? But he, he has, you can tell he got a good um, connection, understanding with Anthony Marshall. Because I think I think they just you know they get on very well. That's probably why he gave him the ball. Do you know mm. what I mean? You could tell us like a bit of chemistry there. I read on Twitter though um, that um, what's his name, Solskjaer, um shouted at Martial to take the penalty so that he could get him off the mark. So, oh, um, okay. Yeah, man. So I guess that, that that's a nice gesture from Solskjaer, recognizing that Martial needs to get started because I think he's gone like um, ten, eleven games. Eleven games, I think. It's eleven games. Eleven games. Eleven games. Yeah, without a goal. Yeah, man. So he's it's, fu- it's funny though because it's funny because um, I guess when when you're if he was on a, run, a winning run, yeah, nobody mm. will notice them things. Because when Liverpool, when, I don't want to compare when Liverpool are winning and for me they're not scoring. No one's talking about that. So exactly, they say he's a, 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 a defensive striker, isn't it, for me now. So I never, I never knew there's a thing. I never know there's a thing called a defensive striker, but that's what, <laughs> that's what we're calling it. Boy, that's new to me. 
Yeah, man. And the fact is, you know, we, we got all these goals and we're not even talking about Cavani yet. You know what I'm saying? Which is... Oh, Exactly, exactly. You know, but, and he, look, Cavani, he, yeah, go on. Go on, sorry. No, I was going to say that basically Cavani almost scored as well. It, it was a fraction of side, just a fraction. A fraction of side, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, I think, do you know what, yeah? I was a bit hasty with this Cavani, but looking back at it now, mm. I think it might be very useful. I think it was just, in the summer, just a frustration of we were chasing one man for so long. I don't even want to mention his name. And we mm. just didn't get him. And then we ended up getting people who we wasn't expecting to get. And then we got him. So maybe looking back at me, Cavani might be a valuable asset for us going forward this season. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Now, the good thing is, is obviously we've, <clears throat> we've got the six points after two difficult games in the Champions League where everybody thought it was the group of death. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. We obviously had reservations about whether we could qualify. Um, yeah. how good Leipzig were last um, season um, PSG obviously yeah. quality as well in Neymar and Mbappe and Di Maria um, and Draxler and Verratti and Marquinhos but um, yeah. we got the away win last week we got the home win now and now we go into the next two games against the was yeah. it Istanbul and we could actually uh, we could actually go into the the fourth game the return game against Istanbul Offered, yeah, only needed one point to qualify with two games to spare. Yeah, that, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, man. That's good. Yeah, because it will allow us to obviously play our fringe players rest, and then rest, prepare for the yeah, league. Rest some players. But, but I still think it's important we finish top, though. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. You know? But, you know, I, I'm... I'm not going to say I'm feeling confident, but I'm just happy that we got the, those two early victories, do you know what I'm saying, to, to release, relieve the yeah. pressure. Yeah, yeah, because potentially we could have zero points, man, or one point from two. Mm. But we, we've done the thing. But I, I think, do you know what's in, for me, yeah? Mm. Call me mad, yeah? But Europe might suit us more than the Premier League. You said it that I don't day. know about what you think, but yeah, I yeah, said it now. Because I, I think I just, it's, it's, I just it's, think because obviously it, it's a slower just, tempo, isn't it? It's a slower tempo. Uh, yeah. You know, we, yeah. it, it may obviously change going into the latter stages of the of the Champions League, when obviously it's, it's a knockout situation. But at this moment in time, yeah, the, the Champions League is more. Obviously, we've got the five substitutes, which will benefit us more as well because we can we can chop and change, mix it up. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, it may suit us more, but um, you know, I'm not complaining. Do you know what I mean? You know, we've just um, got, we've just but, got us. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, and this is why the Premier League did ask the other Premier League clubs do they want five subs? And I think it was only the top six clubs that favoured it, and the rest didn't because they know the top six clubs got better strength in depth than the the lower no the no disrespect the the rest of the lower league clubs or yeah. yeah. Now, from what you saw today, who, who would you say was your man of the match today? Well, I would say Fred. Fred. Fred impressed me. Uh, but I'm sure Fred you've got to give it to Obviously, sure, I know, but, That's what I was about to say. Surely you've got to give it to the I guy who's leading kids. Yes, Rashford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, he's got the match. But, uh, if, you, if you took a side wherever... Mm. It would have been Fred, but obviously Marcus Rashford got the match ball, so you would give it to Rashford in it because a quick cameo and he's got his, his three goals, and then yeah. he's giving up the penny, he could have had the pen and gave it to Martial. So all that, you can't complain, Rashford. Rashford, but I'm just for me full point. But I thought Fred was amazing. Yeah, no, he was, he was, man. I was, I was very pleased, man. That. But, yeah, what are you gonna say? Yeah. But I still feel, I don't want to be negative, right? But I just the centre back pairing. Yeah, I know they done well. No, I, no, no. Listen, I just think the centre back pairing. I'm, I'm, I'm still not convinced. But you know, we just have to take it game by game basis. Do you know what I'm saying? For me, yeah. I mean, I, we have... I, just, I just think when, the, yeah. Because we I have... just think when the quality gets better, when the quality gets better. Mm. Are they going to get sussed out? 
Well, we don't know. We, we Obviously, we have to wait and see. You know, uh, like I said, we've changed our formation so that we've got our defensive platform in midfield. So maybe them not being yeah. overran in midfield, it may benefit them as a step yeah. of yeah. But, yeah, because me... Yeah, this is what I'm. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, mm. that diamond, right? It congestions the center. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I think if they, if other teams want to go right, Wambasaka is good one v one. So I'm not really concerned as much. And Luke Shaw is not a bad defender. So this is why I was saying if we play the diamond, I think we might be more secure. Yeah. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm. So for mm. me, I think. We should we should stick with this formation, uh, you know. As much as I've I've always loved wingers, I'm I'm a winger man. I love wingers, but mm. we got to play to our strengths. That's what I'm saying. You have to you adapt know? to what you have. Do you know what I'm saying? So yes. that's why yeah. obviously we was calling for it for a while. Um, and the fans were calling for it for a while because we all recognised that our strength was in the centre of the park. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it actually made made it the four two three one. It it just it wasn't working for us, you know. Um, it was forced. It was forced. That one yeah. was forced, man. It yeah. was forced. Way too forced. So it, it looks as though that they've they've done a lot of work on that on that shape in um, in training, um, based on what I saw today. Mm-hmm. Um, which we yeah, which do, do you think they might have had a meet a meeting? Do you think they might have had a meeting about it? Or they might have spoke to the manager and said, I don't know. I'm I'm just guessing. Cause why would you randomly just? Of course, do a I mean, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. I mean, obviously, uh, there would have been an inquest after the um, the uh, Tottenham game, hundred percent. Um, you know, and they they will always go into the analysis room to, to to make suggestions and discuss what needs to be done. So I think they possibly did, and they've and the coaching staff they probably had a meeting and thought, you know, look, we need to find a system yeah. which fits and accommodates our better players, because if we yeah. don't, and also, I, and also you started to interrupt. Mm. But also, you get two strikers up the pitch because really we've got plenty of options. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was <clears throat> to say. But yeah, sorry. No, nah, it's cool. It's cool, man. But um, obviously, this this stream is lagging in it. So, well, this, I don't know. I don't know whether it's my Wi-Fi, but where? <clears throat> yeah. Do you think Arsenal fans watching that were sweating? We're coming for you. <sighs> we're coming for you. <laughs> Arsenal FC. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Be ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, yeah. I think they should be worried about the, what we've got going forward. Yeah. Yeah. If they give us. If they if they if they flip him, come on to us and we break on them, mm. they should be worried. Yeah. But the only thing is, man, I don't want to be negative, bro, but the centre backs, one v one defending. I just that's what I'm worried about. The one v one defending. I don't think neither of them are great, but, but we, I think we've got a massive chance. Do you think they'll you be able, do you think they'll be able to get in behind though? Because watching them against Leicester, they were struggling to kind of like Break down Leicester. Like, do you think they'll be able to get in behind us or in between get a midfielder that can break in between the lines? Because I was watching Jaka, Sabios, um, and who else played in the middle of the park? I can't remember, but they were party, they, party. yeah, party. They were really struggling to get in between the lines. So that's why I won't be worried that worried. But who knows? Arteta may have a trick up his sleeve. You know. Um. That's a good question, you know. Mm. You never know. You never know. We'll see. Arteta, Arteta, Arteta seems to... Um, he might pull something up under his sleeve, innit? He might, you know, come with something that we wasn't expecting. Mm. So, we'll see, innit? He, he might actually put a Bamiyan up front and play yeah. <clears throat> track on the left. You, never, you don't know. But we have we have to prepare for all, all, all the options. Yeah, definitely. That Arsenal have. But anyway, who cares? Anyway, tonight, oh. tonight's about Man United. Tonight, let's just enjoy, man. Let's enjoy, man. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no negative, no nothing negative today. You know what I mean? Like today, I think no Man United fan today. I don't care. It should come no negativity because today, today we score five goals. Exactly. We don't see every day. Exactly. And 
we played we played a different system to me that for for me that worked. I can't even complain. Mm. So we have to enjoy. We got a clean sheet for David, big David mm. there. Yeah, so definitely. Onwards and upwards, man. Trust me, and only the big boys play on um on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Only the big boys yes. win on Tuesdays big and boys. Wednesdays. You know, teams that play on Thursday, it's childish. If you play on Thursdays, yeah, it's yeah. Ch- that's childish behaviour. Like seriously, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. get the digs in, eh? Wait, getting the digs in early, boy, because Sunday, <laughs> wait. Let's just put man out, back it up on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> But we'll, we'll sleep well tonight, man. We'll sleep well tonight, man. Um, yes. Once again, yes. man, come on, man. Thanks for joining me this evening. You know what to do, man. Tell them, tell them where to find you, man. For all the for all the news. Yeah, you. man. So yeah, man. So Instagram is <coughs> m's dot doms, and then um, Twitter is m's doms. That's what you find me. My guy, my guy, guys, make sure you subscribe to your channel. Make sure you like it, share it with your friends, family, and whoever it may be. It takes two seconds, as I keep on saying, so show some support. You know, if you want to jump on the podcast um, at any given time, just give me a shot, man. You know, we need to collaborate. You know, we don't discriminate. Hopefully, you guys don't discriminate. Let's collaborate. But yeah, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, machine underscore LDN, and follow the football channel on Twitter and Instagram as well, YKT as football. But yeah, in the meantime, it was five stars tonight, a five-star performance, a five-star performance from Marcus Rashford. He's had a five-star performance on the pitch as well. That's my acting prime minister right now, you know? That's, end that's child, it. End child poverty, you know, and that's what he's doing, collaborating, bringing the public together. You know, so keep on showing some support towards Rashford's cause because it's a it's an amazing cause. And like I said, you know, he's feeding kids and banging in goals. But yeah, it's your boy Shingy. Come on, guy, Ems, if you know the score, and we'll see you on the other side, man. Love. <laughs> <laughs>